We'll do it with 16th notes. And what I'll do is I will I will erase all events and I will step in. I'll step in 16th notes. I'll put on 120 and I'll just step them in with those two pads. It's that simple. Now I'll go to quick edit, sample edit, and I'll just start adjusting. that simple. Um, that doesn't preclude you from saying copying to a clipboard and using four hi-hats. Clipboard and back. And then what you would do, let's see, uh, I'll, I'll erase um, I'll re erase that, that last track. And let's say I would step in those four hi-hats. Oops. I forgot to do the other bar. And then quick editing, sample edit, and then quick editing, whatever high as you want. Just that simple, like I said. Um, like I said, that doesn't preclude you of doing eight notes or eight hi-hat, different copies of the same hi-hat eight times or even 16 times. And then adding just a little bit of air in front of whatever uh, hi-hat you want in place of that. It's just, man, it really is just that easy. I don't know how many times I have to, to say that. But uh, you can really do some weird things with swing. And then on top of that, you can go back in and you can add a grid shuffle on top of that to see what you get or a template or, or a, a shuffle type uh, quantize uh, uh, whatever on, on top of it to see what that, that does. You get some really weird rhythms, some weird effects uh, from doing that. I really suggest people check this method out. Um... It's really powerful. Like I said, I'm going to do another video with some other uh, things that, that kind of, it's a kind of higher math based on, on, on just this little simple um, little trick here. You know what I mean? It's like going from uh, multiplication, division, going to, to, to algebra and whatnot. The next level that you can take this to. And, and I'm sure if, if people can think outside the box, they're thinking right now, wow, you know what? I could take that and do this and that is a uh, is something you, you, people should sit down and think about where they can take this to like I said I have a few ways of taking this somewhere else um, you know what I'm gonna give you guys a bonus be right back okay I'm back oh um, let me give you this bonus real quick uh, I've seen on the forums a lot of people saying uh, there's no insert silence or whatever. You can't uh, create complex sounds uh, that offset, have an offset time type of thing. Well, there's a way around it. And basically, yes, there is a way to do that. 
Um, I'm gonna play a sound I made up for you, just some bogus uh, sound. You know, it might be from a scary movie or something. Uh, I use a method that I showed you before with the uh, basically adding time before a sample, and then um, basically a delay before the sample is sampled, resampled or whatever, and then uh, taking that time back. That's basically what I showed you before the quantize thing. But uh, I'll play this for you real quick, and it's like a bonus for you guys. That was four sounds that started at different times. Um, and, and what I did was I, uh, I had one sound start right on the one. And um, I went to the SM, the uh, sample mix table, SMT. And I, uh, I had a sample that was offset by, you know, so many samples or seconds. And then I had a third one delayed and it started a little later. And then the uh, fourth one started a little later, and uh, it created a complex, a complex uh, sound basically, basically offsetting you know the start times with the four samples. Um, another way to do that, you know, really would be to, uh, you know, go to your MIDI tracks, uh, have one sample start here, then you go so many ticks down and start another sample. You know, you could do a bunch of different sounds that way and create something complex. But the, uh, the way I showed you, well, you would resample the whole thing that other way. But the way I showed you is with the uh, sample mix table uh, using four four sounds. You know, something a little extra to think about, you know what I mean? Uh, I hadn't heard anybody really bring that up before. I know people have had issues with, you know, the MV not having an insert silence or a uh, sample offset type of thing. So this is your way around it. Uh, just something I thought of, you know, with the off of the quantized thing, just taking it to another level. Like I said, I'll be back with some more um, uh, ways to take that, uh, that basically that quantized trick and do some other things with it. And I uh, hope some of you guys uh, do the same, you know, take what I showed you and um, add it to whatever you do. And uh, take that to the next level. And um, with that, I guess uh, I, I guess I'm done here. Peace to the Envy Nation. <laughs>